Oh, but here's a good story. I mean, anybody in Sioux City who smoked weed back in 2000 has the same story. But uh, back then, we used to have most 90% of the weed that you would get in town. Kind of like now, it's all the same. It all looks the same. It's all, you know, it looks all the same, you know, like that. 90% of the weed back then it was canned weed. Now, what canned weed was, was little coffee cans about a little bit taller than like a can of green beans and about a lot wider. Kind of like, uh, you know, what collard greens, the big cans come in or, you know, a coffee can. And it was sealed. And uh, you had to take can opener to open it and it had a pound of weed in it. These things were around for five or ten years. That's all there was mostly. You could still get brick. I like brick better, you know. Um, but, uh, and it smelled a little bit like oranges or peaches. That's how they would preserve it. Obviously, they would put juice in there or something. Some Every now and then you'd get one that's dried out and it'd, it'd weigh like anywhere from a quarter ounce to a half ounce under a pound if it was real dry. But if it was good and moist, it'd be roughly a lot of times a half ounce over and uh yeah i they just drop them all you know and, um so what, what was i saying yeah just can weed oh that they there is a book about th this whole situation um i i honestly don't know where they came from who was responsible for them one guy I told the story to because i asked people all over the country Sometimes when I think about it, have you ever heard of can weed? Nobody's heard of it. Nobody has heard of can weed. So this shit was just coming to us for all I for to my understanding. I have never heard anybody be aware of can weed whatsoever, except Sioux City and the surrounding area like Omaha, Sioux, Sioux Falls, and probably Des Moines. You know, 150, 300 mile radius. To my understanding, I mean it had to be further than that. They were around for five or ten years, you know, but. No, nobody outside of anybody that lives 500 miles, nobody's heard of the shit. So, you know, the police had to be involved in everything, you know, paid off. It's a big operation, dude, had to be, you know what I mean? Um, for it and to not get out to anywhere else, people had to keep that shit quiet, including the police, probably the feds too. That's how, it, that's the stuff you're not supposed to talk about, right? The game, disrespecting the game, fuck the game, the game's fucking dead you know like but um i was in uh omaha i responded to a craigslist ad for my business you know handyman and all this it was on the north side i hadn't spent too much time on the north side at that point i think i mowed a couple lawns over there um it's all, mostly all black people and this is like the rough side of town south side's kind of rough too but north side's notorious you know um and i show up and it, it's I don't, want, I don't want to say too many details, but dude's ex-military. His woman runs the show. She's like a boss bitch. But they're cool people. I helped them build a shed. And uh, he was telling me, like, because we got talking about can weed somehow. And then he's like, yeah, man, uh, some dudes I know, he said, uh, they met up with some cartel dudes, some Pisces or whatever, out in, you know, at night in a park or, you know, out in, you know, the outskirts of town or whatever, you know. Uh, and they had, like, I don't know how much they had. See, I don't want to lie, but it, it had to be more than 200. I want to say it was a ton, like a truck, a ton of fucking cans. And uh, so that would be 2,000 cans. And uh, they they killed them, them uh, car Pisces or cartel, I don't know. To me, car cartel and Pisces go hand in hand, kind of, you know. But <coughs> they killed them and started their bodies on fire and shit. An ex-cop wrote a book about the shit. It's called, like, Three Burning Bodies or some shit like that. Hell, yeah. He's like, yeah, them were my boys. I was like, damn, dude, I never heard that story. I was like, that's probably why... Oh boy, up in Om uh, up in Sioux City, was the main plug, and he was black. But then one of the people I was saying earlier, somebody that I asked on the road if they ever heard of it, they said it was probably black mafia family. 
responsible for it all you know the peaches and oranges down that way you know i was like that eh, you might be right you might be right because one dude was from north carolina um a black dude that had lots of it so between select black people and a lot of mexicans they had a lot of it you know what i mean so i don't know who who's responsible for actually bringing it in you know what i mean it looks to be more like mexicans but maybe not you know what i mean so um because mexicans were more known to have lots of it you know uh but yeah it was, it was a good week but it's very interesting how that works like nobody's heard of it like that that goes to show how 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 tight the lid was kept on that in my opinion you know people be like can weed yeah man can weed you crack that bitch open with a can opener and tear it out of the can and you're in business it's crazy